Britannica Student is one of my new favorite databases that you can access through FCPS. There's a lot to navigate through Britannica and a lot of information to access, so naturally, the librarian's going to love it. As you can see, Britannica Student starts out with questions on the homepage. These are great ways to get kids hooked into something that they may not have any background knowledge on or get them into something new and different. There are seven major sections for elementary students to explore and use on Britannica. In articles, you can look for articles by groupings or by the search bar on the top of the page. These articles have some great features in them as well. The plus and minus signs will let students change font to help those students who may need a bigger font. My favorite feature of the articles in Britannica is the ability to change the reading levels for students. You can easily cite articles by clicking here. Introduction Alligators are large lizard-like animals with long, rounded snouts and powerful tails. They spend most of their time in the water, but they also travel on land. Alligators belong to the group of animals called reptiles. They are related to crocodiles. Under media there are videos and photos that are perfect for different grade levels like animal research in second grade, plants in kindergarten second and fourth, geology for fifth grade, energy for sixth grade, simple machines for third grade, as well as a ton of great media for fifth grade's global awareness project. In the World Atlas, you can find out more about the countries around the world. It is connected to Google Maps, so you can get a real sense of what a country looks like. In Compare Countries, you can choose two countries and do a quick comparison of statistics with government, languages, populations, etc. to grab quick facts for country research. Animal Kingdom is a wonderful resource if you're doing animal research. I love how it works with students on learning classifications of animals, and not just simply a long list of animals. Or you could go by habitat. This is perfect for those grade levels that are learning about different habitats to be able to see what animals live in them, or discuss with students about behavioral or physical adaptations that help animals to live in these habitats. Tour the Country uses Google Maps to tour through our country. It also gives us quick facts about the United States. This would match up with 6th grade's region curriculum. Finally, there's Geography Explorer, which is a game of increasing difficulty. Hi, I'm Jog. I'm off on holiday soon, so can you help me build a map so I know where to go? Come on then, let's go! You make a map by labeling all the oceans, continents, major mountain ranges, major rivers, and seas. Drag the cloud to the continent you think it belongs to. However, I found that with playing this game, there is no southern ocean, so be aware of that if you choose to do this with students. Britannica Student has so many fantastic resources in one database. It has definitely become one of my new favorites.